Hey guys, day 47 around the world for free. So to catch you guys up, my last day in Brazil with Mark and Brita was amazing. Mark saw me and he's like, ah, oh, you're almost at your halfway point. You're looking a little beat down, a little rough around the edges. Took me to the most elite spa in Rio and I got the full on treatment like I've never had before. Nails done, toenails done, hair done, makeup. At one point had five people on me. They must have felt really bad for me. My nails and hair must look really rough. I did a little work in exchange. You have to look chic. This is the most elite spa in Rio, so you have to look good before you can start working. So hence my whole makeover, just so I can start serving people. But I mean, the payoff was enormous. Thank you. You are my style icon. You are so beautiful, but now you're glamorous. I feel like you turned me into a woman. Like a real woman. And that's how you recharge the energy of a beautiful, deserving woman. So Mark and Brita have become like my second Brazilian family. She's, she's my like, Brazilian, my American daughter. <laughs> my Brazilian mama. They put together a Brazilian churrasco for me for my Bon Voyage party. Had all their neighbors come. Everyone brought a bunch of meat, which is the way the Brazilians do it. We had a few caipirinhas. Um, Brita's son Ryan is a really fantastic musician. So he got his guitar out. Another one of their neighbors got his guitar out. Brita on the harmonica. I love this. It was a wild party and a perfect way to end my time in Rio. It's 3 a.m. and Mark has generously offered to buy my flight to Iguazu Falls. So I have a flight out at 6 and um, came over for my last cup of coffee. So Mark and Brita couldn't keep me forever. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm sad. I miss you so much. <laughs> then I hopped on the plane, came over here to Iguazu. I have nobody here. I don't know where I'm going, but I just know my mission is to get to Iguazu Falls because everyone's been writing in the message boards for me to get there, so I have to get to Iguazu. So I'm at the airport, kind of just looking around for anyone to, to help me out. I end up talking to this girl. She gives me a few maps. She told me that it's 10 kilometers from the airport to the falls. So I go outside and I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna have to hitchhike because there's nobody here. So I'm out here, I walk down the street a little way, stick my thumb out and attempt my first hitchhiking of the trip. And this guy, like, Pulls over, screeches to a halt. Hola. Hola. How are you? Hasta el centro. Cataratas? Si. Sí. Can I come with you? Yeah, we got a ride. So Leo is going to take me to the waterfalls. He doesn't speak English. I don't speak Spanish. That's okay. The language of the thumb is universal. Gracias, amigo. I like your beret. I like your beret, your hat. Me gusto. Me gusto. Gaucho? Gaucho. Yeah, I like. Tengo caballo, horse. You? You do? You ride, hija? You're a cowboy. Claro, en el campo. You're a cowboy? Si, claro. Un gallo y por acá se dice gaucho. You're a gaucho. Exactamente. I like your style, though. I do. Like, I put my thumb out for one second. Stick my thumb out, and his car just comes uh, screeching up to the side of the road and just goes, Yeah, come on in. Doesn't speak a lick of English, I don't think a lick of Spanish. Apparently, he's a cowboy and he has a fancy dagger on his dashboard. I've never hitchhiked before in my life, I've never gotten in the car with a stranger. So, I make it to Iguazu National Park. Gracias, amigo. No, por favor, nos vemos. And then there's another slight problem. You have to pay to get in. So obviously I can't do that. I have no money. So I'm just walking up to the guys and they say, talk to the park ranger. I'm the park ranger. <laughs> he didn't really tell me anything, but he beckoned me to follow him, so that's what's happening. The guy wants nothing to do with my situation. So I kind of had to sit there, talk to him, butter him up a little bit. So my friend, the park ranger, 
um, took pity on me, <laughs> heard my story, and he went and gave me this free voucher so I can enter the park. I get to explore this beautiful natural world wonder. You're walking over these bridges that they've created that just take you right over the falls. It's incredible. to send me here. This place is unbelievable. It's huge and gorgeous and powerful. Thank you. And now I am alone again. So if you guys can help me out, I like this is the time that I need you the most. I mean, I have nobody. So if you guys have any ideas, please send your messages in to cbs.com slash world. Um, click on the map, message Parvati. And by the way, guys, the AT&T Live Pool is up for the week. I'm gonna be calling someone from home, reconnecting with either Erica, my best friend and business partner, my sister, or my dad. All right, so that's it. And I mean, the reality of the situation is I am going to head up this street and stick my thumb out and see if I can catch a ride somehow. So, I mean, please just go to the map, message Parvati. Um, I would really appreciate any help I can get and I will check in with you guys from I don't know where. <laughs>